Hey everyone, it's been a minute and I want to talk about two things in particular. One, why I've been gone for so long and two, the current state of Brahala and why I'm not happy with it. So the first one, I wish I could say I've just been busy, uh, but that's not really the case. So what happened is that I ended up making a Brahala video that popped off, made a couple more the by daylight videos, then just disappeared out of nowhere. What actually happened is that I got burnt out, which is weird considering one of those videos did really, really good and I'm super thankful for that. But as much as I am proud of that dexterity video, I look back on it and I'm like, I did a really good job on that video. I didn't have a lot of fun making it. Uh, I had a lot of fun researching it, but once it got to the editing process and gathering all the footage that I needed, that was, uh, it definitely burnt me out. And I was going to make another video on attack and defense. And I was going to make one on speed too. And when I went to edit those videos, I got super bored, super burnt out. And I just kind of got bored of the idea of making content. So I decided to take a bit of a break. I'm hoping I could come back now and be consistent because I'm feeling a bit refreshed since I had a break and I learned my lesson. I'll only make content that I have fun making. But back to Brahala real quick. I did want to talk about it. I'll probably be making some content on it if I ever have like a super fun match, some funny clips and 2v2s, but I probably won't be making a whole ton of videos on it. I might shift more towards the By Daylight, which is the other game I used to make videos about. And here's why. Here's like six reasons or so that I kind of have written down over here on why I think Brahala is headed towards a bad direction right now. Now, I just want to say that I still respect BMG as a company. I think they make a lot of good uh, decisions. I almost said good mistakes, but they do make a lot of mistakes. And I want to go over some of those today because I think the game was doing really good last year and it's kind of gone downhill and they're not doing a whole lot about it. At least in my opinion, I could be totally wrong. Rahala could be the best game ever and I'm just stupid. So the first reason, I guess it's mostly out of out of Rahala's control, to be honest. But the first reason is esports. The esports budget got cut by a whole lot. The, the price blew, I meant. It got cut by a lot. And I kind of get that since in the pandemic, video games got really big and now we're basically out of the pandemic. So video games aren't going to be as big as they were. And I understand why there's such a massive price pool cut. That's not really in their control. I don't think Rahala makes that much money. The other part of this is the esports orgs. I'm not going to call any of them out by name. But some of the orgs are funded by shady people, just random crypto dudes that won. They have super silly names. And the game is not going to be taken seriously when you have all of these random, like hole in the wall orgs that players will just sign. I, and I get it. They want their money. But it's not a good look to other fighting games. And I think it does matter that Brahala fits in with the fighting game community. Second reason, and I couldn't figure out why, but people seem to be more passive recently in higher play, in lower gold to platinum play, in my ELO, like around mid diamond right now, people just seem to have gotten more passive. And I couldn't understand why. But now I think I have a solid idea. My little game theory, if you will. When all the dash changes got introduced, I thought that was a good thing. When people were using land canceling more, I thought that was a good thing, or dash canceling, whatever you want to call it. I thought that was great. I thought that would make the game more fast paced, but it's actually done the opposite in my opinion. So let me take you a few years back, uh, like 2019, 2018. When somebody made a mistake in their movement or they made they missed an attack, you could be extremely certain if you're a good player that you would be able to punish it. But now, since people can move so fast between like you like left and right, they can do dash dances and stuff, especially if they're good, they can integrate that with their attacks. It becomes so hard to actually punish people. And I think a lot of people see that and they play more passive because of it, because of how uncertain your attacks can be. Because before it used to be someone makes a mistake and you can punish it. Now they make a mistake and they're out of it in what it seems like two or three frames. I can understand why people have become more passive. I certainly try not to be because I don't have the patience for that. I think even if I wanted to be passive, I'd just get bored and start attacking again. I understand why people are going to a slower pace of play, especially in, you know, pro play because you really want to win those matches, get your PR up, maybe get the prize pool. But what it's become now is not only has the game become more boring to play, it's become more boring to watch. And if your esports scene is not thriving, it's going to really hinder the pace that your game is going. I think the fact that the game's gotten more passive has been, it's been horrible for me. Uh, my third reason, kind of related to that, is weapon throws. I already made a whole video on weapon throws. You can check it out if you want. Uh, weapon throws suck, in my opinion. I think if I could remove one thing in Brahala, it would easily be weapon throws. Greatsword would be up there, but uh, I, you know, maybe I just suck against Greatsword. But as someone that uses weapon throws, because you kind of have to, once you start fighting decent players, 
you're going to have to start using weapon throws because they're just that busted that every good player knows how to use them. Every good player uses them a lot. Why I think they're dumb is they actually promote passive play. If someone's above you, throw your weapon up. You don't have to engage. If someone's below you, do the same thing. Don't have to engage. Uh, if you want to actually aggress on someone, throw your weapon at them, like dash and throw your weapon. It's super fast. You will probably won't have time to react and you can get a free hit. Uh, if you miss, that's fine. Back up, go unarmed and just jump in the air, float around a couple seconds until you can get a weapon. So I think weapon throws actually promote passive play and I, I truly do hate them. I think they need a massive, massive nerf and you don't see any other fighting games, platformer or not, have a feature like weapon throws, unless you include gadgets, but in competitive play at least. You don't see anything like weapon throws in other games because you can actually affect your opponent's movement across the entire map. Sometimes you'll hit a move and that won't kill and then you'll throw a weapon throw and while they're still in stun, that'll kill. It just adds more force to some moves and I think that's stupid. And even if they get out of stun frames, they just have to burn a dodge early because they can't move out of the way fast enough. And then you can just go and kill them because they don't have a dodge unless they hit you with an attack or their movement's crazy. Uh, number five is also surprisingly not really up to BMG, but I think it's related to all the other issues. Since the game's been less fun to play and less fun to watch, the content creation scene I feel like has really died down. Like you've got, what, Planet Micro and Pavelski? Those are like the biggest content creators right now that I can think of. And a lot of the Brahala content creators I used to watch, they haven't even moved on to other games. They've just stopped uploading. Cause you know, a lot of them were pros. They enjoyed the game. Maybe they enjoyed uploading. I don't know why they would have stopped. Maybe they get less views. Maybe the game's just less fun to stream or make content of. And again, your esports scene and your content creation scene, those are going to heavily affect your game. You don't take care of those by making your game less fun or maybe not doing as much about it. Uh, that's definitely going to hurt your player base number. And that leads into my sixth and I think last point, unless I just come up with something on the spot. Uh, the game's kind of dying. If you look at it on Steam Shards, I know a lot of players, in fact, most players probably aren't on Steam, but it's it's kind of an indication of where how people feel about the game. If you look at it right now, game's kind of taking a, a bit of a nosedive. I wanna say a nosedive, but it's it's going downhill. I don't know how long this will last. Me personally, I think if Brahala continues on this path that I think it's on right now of not making good changes, it won't die this year, it won't die next year. But 2026, you know, that's a two-year prediction. That's massive, I know. But I don't know if it'll be around for 2026. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is that we're seeing more fighting games on Steam. We're seeing people kind of start to play games on uh, fighting games on PC. These companies are taking notice. So Brawlhalla used to have a monopoly because it was the one of the most accessible fighting games. That might not be true anymore. I mean, maybe it will be because it's the only one that's free right now. I don't know if Multiverses is going to come back free, but even if things like Multiverses aren't successful, uh, I still think it's showing people that, hey, there's a big player base for fighting games on PC. Maybe put some fighting games there. That'll give Bahala some competition. That could be good because maybe they'll start taking those other games more seriously and make good changes. That could be bad because that could just kill the game because there's better games. Uh, and, and it really just seems like the, the devs don't care as much. I, I don't know why, but before... Uh, I'll give you a great example, actually. Before, imagine BMG from like a year or two ago. If they made a stupid mistake, like the map pools right now, they would take that back in, within like a week or two. They'd be like, guys, we messed up. We're fixing it. Now, Everyone, and I mean basically everyone I know, everyone I've seen, every pro player, all my friends that play this game, nobody likes the map pool. Nobody has liked it since it, it changed in November or December. I don't remember seeing a, a single person that was like, this is great, I like it. So I don't know why they just aren't listening. The old map pool was fine. I thought it was, I actually really liked it, but that's just a personal preference. I think for the overall game, I thought it was fine. And yeah, I think those are my, my six reasons. If you, if you want to say. Very quick seventh reason, as I was editing this, I realized that I missed one, and that was balance patches. Not only are balance patches super rare, we get them like every two months, but they have like one or two changes. Sometimes they're just straight up bad changes, like the last patch notes had only two weapon changes, and one of them was a spear buff, and my main weapon is spear. I don't think spear needs a buff. I, I think if you're gonna buff side light, that's fine, but nerf something else, ner nerf there, I don't know, and Buffing Sword Delight is just crazy to me. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Sword sucks. I don't think so. I think that's an insane buff. Uh, that's really about it, though. It really sucks. I really like Brahala. It's, you know, I've been playing the game for forever. I've never gotten super good. I mean, 2400. 
that's a that's a decent elo and that's not that's not pro by any means but i was decently good at the game and back then i was very motivated to improve not so much right now even like especially today i had a tournament uh, i didn't play super well but before i'd be like i didn't place well i gotta grind so i can you know get a better placement next tournament I, I'm, I don't really get that much anymore. It could just be a skill issue. I could be trashed. Very possible. But, you know, it doesn't even matter if I could be pro or not. It's the fact that I'm no longer striving to be pro. Because I, I, at one point I was. Now it's kind of like, do I really want to play against passive players every game? And, you know, weapon throws and weapons I don't like. Which, again, I've always... Weapons I don't like, that's more of a me issue. But I think s stuff like weapon throws are genuinely just terrible. I don't know anyone that likes them, to be honest. So yeah, that's about it. I might make a Brahala video or two here and there, but if I do start uploading consistently again, it'll probably be Dead by Daylight. So hey, if you only watch me for Brahala stuff and you want to tune out, that's totally fine. I can't blame you at all. But I do want to thank you for your support. It really means a lot. I don't shame you for not wanting to, for not wanting to watch stuff outside of Brahala. That's totally fine. And yeah, that's kind of kind of where I'm at mentally. Uh, might stream, maybe. I probably want to put out some videos first before I start streaming again. But that'll be all. Thank you for watching, everyone. Peace.